My name is Mr. Hermes, Associate Principal of Curriculum and Instruction at Appleton North High School, and I'll be taking you through this process. Let's get started. So the purpose of this video again is to help uh, all Appleton Area School District students and their families understand how they will officially sign up for course requests in Infinite Campus for next school year. To do this, you're going to need three things. One, your scheduling worksheet that you've worked on in Homeroom. Two, being logged into Infinite Campus. And then three, as a resource, uh, the Appleton Area School District Course Description Guide. So the first item I said that we're going to need is our scheduling worksheets. We have been working hard to have the scheduling worksheets completed, which is really important because now that you've put in the time and effort to get the classes identified that you want to take for next year and you've filled out your scheduling worksheet here, which I have a freshman version and a junior one, yours might look a little different, but now that you've filled out that information, the entering courses part is really quite easy. So for the sake of the video, I've got a sample student here. His name is Test Jones. Uh, he's a junior and he has successfully completed his scheduling worksheet, as you can see here with the check marks, uh, as well as classes that he's taking. And he's confirmed with his parents, his homeroom advisor, and in his case, his case manager, as to classes that he signed up for, if that looks correct, for his graduation plan, his areas of interest, previous classes, and so on. So having the scheduling worksheet completed is going to make tests, course entering, super simple. So our next step is we need to get logged into Infinite Campus, the student portal. So I've logged into Infinite Campus under my made up student, Tess Jones. Hopefully your screen looks like mine. The first step you're gonna do is you're gonna on the side panel, you're gonna go down to more. You're then gonna see some displayed options. You should see one that says course registration. Click that. And then for your school, your enrollment should appear here. So I'm gonna click on that. And it's going to take me into the screen in which we're going to enter in our courses. So again, just to show you, this is why the scheduling worksheet is going to be so important. So this is the document that we're going to use now to enter in our courses. So when you look at the screen, you're going to see that Tess Jones hasn't started scheduling or hasn't entered any of his courses yet. It indicates there that I haven't started. This is going to be a spot where I'm going to add my courses to start. But I want to just point out your attention to this units. And you'll see that I'm at zero of 28. Again, it's at zero because I haven't started yet. I want to explain to you what this 28 means because this part of the screen is actually a status bar. So as I enter courses, this bar here is going to fill in in a color. And this number of units is going to change here. And I want to explain to you what that means because this is going to be important to understand when you're done scheduling. Did you do everything correctly? Did you enter in enough courses? So as you know, if you are an incoming freshman, sophomore, junior, you have to sign up for a minimum of six credits. If you're a senior, you have to sign up for a minimum of five. For everyone, you're going to sign up for a maximum of seven. So if you look at this chart here, for every class that you sign up for, it's worth two points per semester. If I have a eight period day, I take one out because of lunch. So we're talking about a seven period day. If I take six credits times two per semester, I'm going to have 24 points. So if I have a year long English class, for example, I would get two points for it for the first semester, two points for it for the second semester. That class is going to give me four points total. And if I need to have six credits, six times four is 24. So for freshmen, sophomores, and juniors, in that status bar, you're looking for your points to be somewhere between 24 and 28. For seniors, because of five credits being a minimum, you're gonna to look to make sure that those units are somewhere between 20 and 28 credits or points. So I hope that makes sense because that status bar will help us to make sure that we're on track for what we need to do. So let's get back into IC. So in Tess Jones scheduling sheet, the first subject area is, is English. So to add a class, we're simply gonna click add course. And then you're going to see a box is going to appear along with a lot of courses listed below. So you can do this one of two ways. One of the ways is to enter in the course number. So Tess Jones signed up for American Literature and Composition. So I could type in the course number, 1110. And you'll notice as I do that, it's going to start pulling those courses. And you'll see that here's American Literature and Composition. 
Now, a really important thing that we remember, we have to sign up for both semesters if we're signing up for a year long class. So it's not enough to just sign up for this one because this one here is only first semester. I've got to sign up for both. So to add this class is quite simple. I just click this plus button and it's gonna ask you, would you like to request this class or have it as an alternate? Well, we're wanting to request this class, so I'm gonna click request. And now you'll notice that my status bar has changed to 7% and my units now are two. Now again, with this liter English class, I'm not done. I need to go back in and add semester two. Again, I'm gonna request. And now I am 14% complete and I've signed up for those four units. Okay, so now I'm gonna click the back button to get back to this screen where I can add a course. I go down here where it says add course. I click that, now I'm back to that search button. I'm gonna show you the other way that I can look up a class. Uh, Tess Jones is also signing up for Earth Science. So I'm gonna type in Earth. So instead of typing in the number here, I'm typing in the name of the course. And you're gonna see that the same thing happens. It pulls up, it looks through the course catalog and pulls up the classes that start with Earth. There's my Earth Science class. Again, I'm gonna say plus, add as a request. That's first semester. Again, make sure you add second semester, add request. And again, you can see that my units are changing. So now to this point, Tess Jones has signed up for two different classes. He's got his eight uh, scheduling units. If you're adding a semester class, one that's only runs a semester versus a year long, the process is similar. I would add a course and Tess Jones was signing up for personal wellness. So I'm gonna type in here personal. It's gonna pull up those classes. I know personal wellness is 0047, and I'm going to add it as a request. Again, my status bar changed, but because it's a semester class, there's only one thing to sign up for. There's not an S1 and S2, so I'm done with that one. I can click back, and now I can continue to add his courses. Now I've gone ahead and finished filling out all of Tess Jones's uh, course requests. I originally was anticipating signing up for six and a half credits. Six and a half times four equals 26. So that tells me that I've signed up for all my classes. They're all gonna be listed here. Again, you'll notice those year long classes. I have semester one and semester two. If something happens, you wanna get rid of a class. All you need to do is go to the class and click on it. It'll open up then a description of the class, its course number, that information here. And you'll notice here at the bottom, you have the opportunity to delete the request altogether, or if you want to list it as an uh, alternate class instead, you can do that on the screen um, as well. The final step that test has to do is sign up for its alternate courses. We require all students to enter in alternate courses just in case in the scheduling process, if a course that you've requested um, either doesn't run or it conflicts with your schedule as it's being built, you have to have alternate courses that you want. Test had signed up for personal wellness, but he's also gonna list an alternate for PE. He's chosen team games. So similar, you'd click the plus button. And now here's how you do differently with alternates. Instead of clicking the request button, you would click the alternate button. And then when you go back to his um, course screen, you're gonna see here are his requests. And then at the bottom here is the alternates. And we would ask that you do that for, for sure a PE class as well as a year long and a semester uh, alternate class to make sure that we have options in case the scheduling process doesn't work. Wanna thank you for watching this video. Hopefully it was helpful in understanding how you're gonna enter your course requests for the 2020-21 school year. Please make sure you get these entered by your school's deadline. If you do have any questions, please contact your school counselor. Thanks and have a great day.